What's up everyone, it's Joey, Bliff Response, and today we're checking out the 4MS looping delay and sampler. Let's get right into it. All right, 4MS sampler and looping delay. They've been nice enough to provide me with both of these and I thought it'd be fun to make a video with them together. I've got the sampler going through the QPOS in mono and then out through the looping delay. Of course, you could do stereo with these, but I want to demonstrate the feedback loop in the looping delay, so we're doing mono today. Uh, another caveat to this demo is I wanted to see what I could just do with the stock samples because of course if I load it with my samples it's going to sound crazy right away but let's see if I can make it sound crazy with whatever they provide you with. So here's the sampler, press play and you adjust the envelope like with this light knob. Let me take out the pitch to the actually. So middle is the root pitch, of course. Pitch it down. Got a cool sound. There's not so much aliasing there, I gotta say. Uh, which, you know, not a big deal. And then you go, you press your bank here to go through banks. You've got different samples. You can hold this button for a couple seconds. It turns blue, then you're looping. Samples just go over it. Reverse, obviously reverses. Very simple. Adjust your envelope length. Cool for getting granular stuff. And it can record audio. Adjusting start po length. Start position and length can get crazy. We're gonna do that by sending some LFOs from my favorite ModCan Quad LFO. All right, and now we're Telephone Tel Aviv. Very easy, very simple. Let's do that with um, length as well. That's some trippy stuff. And we add in the delay. Cool textures. <laughs> I'm digging it. In normal use, though, I would only use my own samples because I don't want there to be a hint of maybe something that someone else had because I'm that kind of guy. It's really annoying sometimes <laughs> to make myself work so hard, but that's just real life. Sometimes I'm like, oh, it would be easier to just use presets, but fuck that. I don't play that. Now, I want to see if we can do FM. I want to say I'm touching my finger. It seemed to be getting some modulation. It's kind of fun. Let's put in a sine wave. Yes! Give me the noise! So you lose out on the very high frequencies, but that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, I like that delay. That's some brutal shit right there. I am a fan. I, I could listen to that all day. We're gonna get crazier by putting stuff into the feedback loop. In this case, we're gonna use the Irby verb. See how that sounds? So you go send and return. Very simple. We're just adjusting the level. Crazy feedback, sir. 
just gotta watch levels. Let's try another bank. We're actually gonna play with that FM out a bit using a VCA. But God, I'm loving these textures. This turned out way better than I expected. Increasing FM. Wow, I'm having a ball here with this shit. I love those happy accidents. I did not expect anything like this to happen. I wasn't sure, but it was, I didn't think it was gonna be this. And then, you know, I have my favorite Aura adder in my phone, just to get some extra spice. with the every bird level. I actually have another idea. Let's try with the um, with the beads or the data bender. Let's try the data bender. That's what I'm talking about. And we can get kind of glitch granular delays, open feedback loop. Oh, we're gonna have to adjust some volume with that though, because as you heard, that was quite wild. That's what the data bender there. Trippy. So, as you can hear, we got some data bending happening. A little CV, the data bender. Sounds like your high school class bell. Like, all right, we're getting out of class now. And we're going into drone land. We're going to send a randomized gate into reverse because I like doing things like that. And then we're gonna put some drums in because I also like putting drums in. And mind you, this is on sequence random here. Let's see if we can make that fit a rhythm. Wow, just a little bit of pitching. We're already in techno land. Increasing FM. <laughs> That's cool with increasing FM. It's, it's really sputtery. We're gonna set a ping into the ping to clock it and fuck with that now. Not bad. We'll also clock the data bender. We'll take that out for a minute. 
how strange. That reverse is going nuts. We'll take out the CV. What a ridiculous sample. What the fuck are they putting in these things? What the fuck is that? Let's get rid of that. That's horrible. Full FM it. Sounds slightly better reversed than FM. Oh my god, though. Did I get this to freeze somehow? I might have. Let's try to unloop it. Did I break the reverse? Come on, guys. Okay, no, here we go. It was like a drum bag. I don't want that. Wow, we got some memory in that delay. We'll loop that one. You lose a lot of the high end when you're um, pitching down. Nothing a little FM can fix. Let's try length from a square wave. Oh, some drum. All right, I'm gonna try and get this drum into rhythm here. We'll first, we'll gate it. Sampler really has an old school feel. Like if I, for some reason, wanted to get an old Akai, I would get this instead. Because it's just so simple. I like the ease of operation. I think that is worth a lot. Cool texture. Filter that. Yeah, see? Now you have a techno drone. All right, not bad. Let's get it faster. Now let's start playing with it. We'll do some pitch. See if that gets weird. Yes. But I like it. Got some cool atmosphere there. Now we're gonna start bringing the delay back in. And we'll start CVing that delay. Or no, we'll start fucking with the sample. Get start position. Editing the pitch sequence. Try it for simple. So it's all dependent on what you put in there, of course. That's a cool texture. 
And we'll have the end out do the hold on the delay. Put that data banner back in there. All right, now we're getting somewhere ravey. Kind of, but more fresh. You can do those technical chords. Take out that fever with poop. No more pace. Yes! That's a cool sample. Yes! How weird. It gets a little confusing sometimes because the delay sounds so clean. That delay buffer sounds exactly like the original sound. So sometimes I think the original sound is triggering, but it's not. Kind of strange. But in a way, if you wanted a delay that will perfectly replicate your sound, maybe this is the one because a lot of them add some character. This one sounds exactly the same. Let's see, really fast me. Oh. There we go. Yes! <laughs> I like the sound of that delay. Yes! Ooh! Getting half steps. Yes! Yes! Ooh! Smoking. <laughs> Love it. Yes. <laughs> That's the most evil shit. I've heard all week. What a sound. We'll loop that. That's our dry sound. That times perfectly. Nice.
it's cool. Four mess delay and sampler. So that was fun. I think the sampler has a really cool old school sampler vibe and I honestly would recommend it uh, for most uses over like an Akai or something. If you wanna get into deep sample mangling and editing and time stretching, like of course you need an Akai, but I think for the kind of basic sampler quality stuff that people are looking for, this can do the job because it's very hands-on. It's also quite nicely priced, so I dug it. I think the sound is cool and it, it it's very simple to use and I appreciate things that are like that because it can get more complex with patching if you need it. The looping delay really impressed me in that its sound is identical to what you put into it and I kept experiencing moments in the demo where I thought I, I was editing my sound but I was actually just hearing the delay buffer keep looping because the quality there was no difference and that's one of the few delays in your rack that I've noticed uh, doesn't color your sound in any way so I think that's uh, a point uh, if you're looking for that sort of thing because you can use the feedback loop to color it. Uh, and of course, it sounded really cool once I started tweaking it out. I dig them both and they're both uh, budget conscious. So if you're looking for either one, I think they're solid choices. As always, samples of this jam and other jams are gonna be up on my Patreon. If you wanna use these sounds in your own productions, if you wanna learn from me, if you wanna ask me technical questions, that's all on Patreon. Check it out. If you wanna support me, there's other ways you can do so as well. Check out my music on my Bandcamp and my label Megastructure. I'm releasing lots of cool artists on there and there are more releases coming soon. You can buy gear from the affiliate links in the pinned comment and video description and you can sign up for DistroKit as well through the affiliate link as always thanks for watching until next time peace out